Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Kuchach, Badash. I want to give double honors to our apostles who are elders who rule well. And also want to say blessings and salutations to you, brothers out there teaching and enduring true sincerity. Yeah, man. Um, this is more of a, a piggyback off the last lesson I did um, towards descrying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm doing it in transit, so you know it's a, it's a it's not too deep, but you know scriptures are required for it. But I'll just like you know, um, it's mainly for a message to the brothers and you know to those in the know. So if I quote them, man, just type it up, look it up, you know what I'm saying? Or you know, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. If you're fresh and you don't know, you know I, I definitely would put the scriptures down there for you guys. You know it's it's no biggie. Um, but yeah, man, just going into the, the, the scrying and you know, which is the witchcraft. You know, uh, the scripture I want to, you know, quote first is that, you know, the um, uh, uh, the, the the devil walking around the royal lion seeker whom he made the vow, right? And um, there's also saying that you know there's principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and wickedness in high places. Now the third scripture is in the um, the. The one um, it has a level of importance in this revolving around this this lesson is that there is no enchantment against Jacob, right? So um, that's really the the bulk of the lesson. What does that mean? All right, there's no enchantment against Jacob. Is that basically the the two scriptures I quoted before is that Satan is is walking around, all right, um, and there's wickedness in high places, right? And, and principalities. Now Esau, there's, there's a scripture saying Esau basically, you know what I'm saying? He knows, he basically um, provokes us to go off and then he prays to the most high, okay? So when, when you go into um, the, you know, enchantment, you know, it's more divinations and, 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 and divinations going to, you know, magic and fortune telling and, you know, like talking about either the, the future or, or, or using spiritual entities to control um, or extraterrestrial powers to control an individual. So once you go to enchantments, basically um, someone that practices voodoo, someone that practices any type of witchcraft are not able to uh, able to basically call an entity on you because why it's a real question why there is there no enchantment against Jacob first off when someone tells you that and you're in the truth the first thing that comes to mind is that yeah that's right there is no enchantment against Jacob because I got the most high that has my back okay because when the most high has your back he's protecting you when angels are camped around about you. Because what the scriptures say, where there's no hedge, the possession is spoiled. You know, when it's talking about the woman, right? And the woman is wisdom. But, you know, we're, we're also, you know what I'm saying, um, a possession of the Most High. So if we're not protected by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, then those enchantments will work, okay? And now you got another element of... Uh, how you carry yourself via, via through the scriptures because you know the scriptures tell you to not let any man inside your house because they'll come in with many trains what do you think those trains are okay what do you think those trains are it's basically um you know spirits demons energy that they bring into your house so you shouldn't let anybody inside your house let alone in the case in the joint and seeing what you got but they're also putting in, uh, vibes and, and demons, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, another example, which is a great, phenomenal example, which is the blood of Yahweh Shai, all right? Once we repented and, and turned to the Lord, spiritually, we've been washed by the water of the word, and, and, and that blood is upon us, so that's why those enchantments are blocked. But if you're not adhering to the Holy Spirit, via through Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, then those enchantments will work. Because, like I said, the major point pursuant to the blood of Yahweh shy 
if you didn't have that blood on your doorpost, what happened? That death angel came and swooped through and killed everything that was up in there, right? Or, or, or killed, um, the death angel came through and, and, and handled his business. You know, just to be uh, generically precise. You know what I'm saying? So, to understand, because, you know, some would think, okay, there's no enchantment against Jacob. I can basically be anywhere, however, and do what I want. And nothing that happened to me. That's not the case. You know, uh, as I was telling uh, one of the one of the brothers a while back, man, you know, about just being around two thirds too long, being around women too long. You know what I'm saying? Those 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 spirits and, and vibes will rub off on you. And you know, I was I was telling one of the brothers like a long time ago, like, look, man, you know, yeah, you you might be out with a two third. And y'all might not be doing anything. You might not be doing anything to uh, to uh, disturb or, 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 you know, wickedly. You know, you're doing something wicked. Like, you ain't going out eating no crab legs with them. You ain't in no smoke out. You ain't, you know, out there committing adultery with them. You're just out there drinking and, and, and throwing darts. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know what judgment the Lord has for that man or... When enchantments or, or demons that are out there to fuck him up. So you hanging around him, you know what I'm saying? And, and you're in that environment and, and, you know, you're putting yourself in an environment to where you're totally vulnerable to whatever is happening to him. All right. So, you know, with that being said, as far as that, I always advise brothers, man, if you're going to go in an environment of, of uh, dealing with a two third, hey, hell, dealing with a, a, a little shorty. You know, a little skeety bop, you know what I'm saying? You're in that environment and you're dealing with shorty, then yo, now you gotta make sure you got some, you gotta, not some, but you gotta make sure you have control over that environment, man. You know, even with my family, my, my family, the bulk of my family ain't right, man. But I go see them, but I make sure I'm in control. I make sure I pull up. I make sure that I'm not, you know, uh, uh, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, avoid all appearance of evil I make sure I'm not in that position To be uh, susceptible To those principalities And, and wicked That wickedness and rulers in um, high, high places uh, You know, slacking for butchering it But y'all get my point I'm not putting myself in an environment To where those demons And those the, those energies And the, that, that type of vibe can, can um, I'm under that control and I gotta do what they I gotta I gotta basically play along until I escape out you know what I'm saying so you know you don't want to get like in scripture say uh, 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 be not unequally yoked with unbelievers basically don't be in agreement with them basically don't be going somewhere where you're comfortable and you're mentally engaged and you're mentally open to uh, their their spirit man because one thing that comes with it is not only the things that they have such as information or opportunities but they, their demons come with it too man okay and the most high is not the art of confusion but of peace so he's gonna give you clarity you know you got the you got the brothers to 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 you know chill with but you know but you still got shorties shorties be having demons on them too man so you you have to put yourself in a position of control to where they're not uh, uh, able to put that that demon, allow that demon to jump on you, man. Because just because we're in the truth doesn't mean we're not susceptible to demons. All right, how do those demons get on us, man? When you become vulnerable or weak, or you're just wide open. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of women have uh, uh, demons of anger and selfishness on them, or demons of, of carnality on them, which you, your nose be so wide open to her and. and, and and that woman could get you, that's how brothers fall out. That woman can get you to start, yeah, you're going out on Saturdays too much. You need to see, you need to be with your family. You need to do this, you need to do that. And your you, your nose so up in the air that that demon start, that, that voice start making sense. That demon start making sense. Yeah, man, you know, because these brothers got you doing this and then you doing that and they, they wrong and it started, you know what I'm saying? So you you have to, the, the reason why there's no enchantment against Jacob is because the Most High protects us, be it through the Holy Spirit and be it through the Holy Spirit. 
which is the ministering angels, the ministering spirits, and the word of the Most High. Because both, both of them are ministering spirits. You can basically get it and read it, or the, 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 the spirits, the ministering uh, angels, will come and sup with you and speak with you and tell you, look, nah, man, you shouldn't, you, hey, I wouldn't go over there. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't rock like that if I were you. You know what I'm saying? So these are how, this is how we block those enchantments that Satan try to, uh, um, you know, bestow on us and other people because other people may not mean no harm, but they might have fucking demons on them, man. And, and, and like the scripture saying, Sirach, man, uh, invite not anybody into your house because they could bring in many trains. Trains like a, like a, a, a bird is in a cage that, that those those demons are, 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 are all on them, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and what the scriptures say, hey, man, when you clean your house and it's, and it's swept, there's seven more, that, that, that demon comes back with seven more. You know what I'm saying? Showing that what? That even though you can clean yourself up, even though you're doing all this, if you're not replacing, you know, your, your energy with spiritual vibes and protecting yourself, via through the word of the Most High and the Holy Spirit, then those demons will come back and those those demons come back seven times stronger because they know they got to win. They're not going back or coming back to you with a losing battle. They're going to come back with seven more demons to, to overtake you. So um, just give an understanding that, you know, uh, there's no enchantment against Jacob because, you know, I had a uh, talk with a brother. He gave me some clarity. And, and, you know, the end all be all to it, it was like, hey, man, look, at the end of the day, there's no enchantment against Jacob, you know, and I fully understood it. And it made me, you know, made me want to do this lesson, uh, uh, this in transit in a quick, you know, little quick hit towards it is that the, the reason why there's no enchantment against Jacob is, is because we adhere to how Bashim Yahu shot because a nigga on the street, an enchantment will work against him. That's why... These that's why these enchantments are working, man. Well, hell, what if, what if you know, like, like, uh, Elisha, you know, calling she bears, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or a, a, a man of the Lord cursing another, another Israelite. Why, why does it work when, when, you know, uh, uh, those curses when Peter, when it was, um, you know, selling their houses, why did that, you know, so called enchantment work? It's because they they wouldn't protected by the Holy Spirit, man. The thing that could the the not the thing, the the man, you know, our Father Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Yahweh, you know, uh, who controls all spirits. If he's protecting you, how can a spirit deviate from his uh his command? If he's the one that's protecting us, you know, how can that again? How can that spirit? deviate from his command. The book of Sirach says that they, they come to do the will of the most high and they, um, they do it to full perfection. So, just like Job. You know what I'm saying? Satan wanted to mess with Job but that proves there's no enchantment against Jacob because the Lord said you can do what you, you can do things to, you can do what you want to his body but you can't touch his soul. So basically he put it into how far that, that enchantment goes. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just to give, you know, the clarity to it, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and long as you got the most high, you call upon a name, and you're doing what you're supposed to do, because even if you call upon a name, if you're putting yourself in a position to where you're spiritually open, you know what I'm saying, uh, from, from basically, hey, you drinking, you start drinking and, and, and getting inebriated around niggas and shit, man. You open your 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 defenses are down, man. You know that's why I, me in particular, I don't I don't drink around you know two thirds and Jake. You know you know what I'm saying Jake like that, man. You know only only drink around brothers or in my house, man. You know if I go out, I'm with the brothers and I'm drinking, man, because I feel I feel safe physically and spiritually. But if I'm on a two third, I don't know, man. You know, and you you're you're more susceptible. Hey, look at Lot, man. Look at look what happened to Lot. You know, as righteous as Lot was when he got drunk around around his um daughters, they you know they got him drunk and they were able to uh um uh, use certain things to uh get their goal accomplished. You see, so um it's a thing of uh, understanding. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm just really what made me want to do this lesson is to show you how to basically. You know, control these entities, you know, because this is 
in Babylon, we're dealing with a lot of that type of, uh, a lot of witchcraft, man, a lot of sorcery, man. You know, and even us brothers within the know are still are still having to fight that. It's just that the Lord is protecting us via through the scriptures and via through the Holy Spirit, saying, "Nah, man, don't go over there. Don't 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 be dealing with that environment, man." You know what I'm saying? Or look, look, man, that dude ain't right. You know, this ain't. You know what I'm saying? And, and it makes us like, you know, keep us protected to move the right way. But when you just susceptible to a person that's not in the truth and you're just open to their advice you're open to you know um or you're you're drinking and you're open to their advice you know what i'm saying and you're just relaxed and you're susceptible to what comes with them you know which is uh, uh demons man you know what i'm saying so is this lesson was really just on a note of saying like how to understand and control you know the enchantments that are that are coming at us, man, and why the enchantments are not don't work against uh, 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 Jacob, man. It's be, again because we are protected through uh, via through Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, via through the Holy Spirit. You know, and that Holy Spirit guides us and puts us in sound positions. That's why the Lord said you gotta be of a sound mind. You know, because even like getting drunk, uh, 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 always says sober, which is a clear mind. That's, you know, uh, being actually physically drunk makes you uh, uh, not think soberly. You know what I'm saying? Not think clearly. You know what I'm saying? That's why you make bad decisions. I'm not saying that you're not supposed, you can't get drunk and that's what that means. No, it says, you know, be sober mean think clear-headed. Don't let anger take over you because anger could let you be susceptible to a demon. Sadness or basically when you get unbalanced in a way, uh, to where you're you're just not thinking righteously, you know. I can't say logically, not thinking righteously, because if you're calm, hindsight is twenty twenty, you know. And spiritual sight is twenty twenty. When you're calm and the flesh is not taking over, and you sit there and relax and woo sigh and be like, all right, this is how I handle that. But when you're drunk, there is no calming down. Basically, you're just totally inebriated. So you need to be around people. You know, me personally, that's I prefer to be around people that help me, you know what I'm saying, stay sound. So if I if I get too drunk, brother, be like, hey man, you know, just go to sleep. You know, a brother pray for me, you know, make sure I'm good. The the, the, the spirits that are around me, not a spirit of anger or you know, these demons that just hover around and walking to and fro, you know, seeking whom they may devour, when these brothers are around. They got angels encamped around them. And if I'm doing the right thing, the angels are encamped around me. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 is out that he continued to keep them angels camped around me, man. You know, that's why David prayed for the Most High not to take the Holy Spirit because that's, that's what protects us, man. That's what helps us stay on track. And, those holy, and that Holy Spirit, pursuant to the book of John, is sent from Yahweh Shai. When he said, I send, you know, I send you a comforter, which is, you know, the New Testament and via through the Holy Spirit, you know, that's that guide to make sure we're not putting ourselves physically and spiritually in the wrong place to be overtaken by Satan, you know. So, again, just to give understanding to, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the scripture, there's no enchantment against Jacob, you know, you got to watch who you're around. You got to watch what you, you, you eat. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, when I'm talking about to my information, I'm talking about your belief in somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because there's information from everybody, you know, even outside of the Akim that is useful, but you gotta know when to you know you gotta know how to spit the bones out. Cause how we get most of our historical information, you know, how do we even get this far? You know, uh, um it, it it had to along along with the Holy Spirit, you had archaeological evidence you have historical evidence we go through the the urine and the throne which is the internet you know what i'm saying and there's all kind of things within that that uh atmosphere and through the holy spirit the lord allows us to basically eat on the meat and spit out the bones you see so uh with that being said man i just you know i hope it was edifying because um i think it's very very useful because this is something we battle with every day 
You know what I'm saying? We battle with every day and what you, you know, the things, that's why we fast to isolate ourselves from any element that can basically uh, 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 have us open. Because too much of, of the flesh leaves you open to anything. You know what I'm saying? Too much of eating, too much of uh, watching TV, games, or whatever. Those things leave you open to those demons and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're basically open. Your mind is like in a la-la land. Just like you, you, if you're like too open into clubbing or you too open into whatever, it's all right to do whatever. That's why the scripture says, see what is evil unto thy life and give not that unto it. Because once you see that it's not good for you, because you get open. You know what I'm saying? Like I do this too much. I'm, 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 I'm too much over here. I'm not balanced. You know, you got to have control over yourself, man. Because if you don't have control over yourself, then that, that demon could trick you and tell, tell you, look, you doing right. You all right. You ain't sinning. You ain't going off. Next thing you know, you procrastinating. Next thing you know, you do this. Satan ain't going to come up to you and be like, ha ha, I'm the demon. And this is what you should do. And it's very demonic. And you should do it. And he'd be like, you know what? You're right. No, it don't work like that. Satan come up to you with guile, man. We, we, we learned that what happened with Adam and Eve, man, with the serpent. It came up with God. It made, it made them think what was right. It made Eve think, you know, that knowledge that that, say, that, that serpent gave her, it made her think it was right because she resisted. She said, no, Lord didn't tell me, you know. And it was like, nah, nah, boo, boo, boo. And then what happened to Adam? The woman, you know, oh, that's my woman. She was a little, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like no straightforward, demonic, uh, uh dark cloud with a red figure with red eyes and a pitchfork. No, man. Because you would turn your back. You're like, nah, fuck that. Satan's going to attack your weakness, man. So again, be be ye sober. You know, be clear-headed in, in, in our walk, in our continuous walk, all right? Because too much of being over much righteous, being too playful, being too chill, you know, you, we, we got to count on that Holy Spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit be like, yo, man, look, you, you know, you, you're, doing, you're doing too much. You're on overload right now. You're doing too much studying. Just chill for a second. Enjoy your family. And then the Lord uh, 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 put you in a place to where he'll have you just chilling and he'll give you a revelation, man, via through the Holy Spirit. Or sometimes you're like, hey, man, you need to stop all this moving around. You need to sit down and study. And then you sit down and study and you come across a revelation. But when you're just too open and you're just like, when I mean by open, I mean that, 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 that thing has a hold of you and it has control to whether you want to do it or not, it makes you do it. And, and a, a phenomenal example is a woman, you know, to that woman makes you feel good. She's beautiful. She, she sex you good. She cooked the right foods, but she, she, she has you open to the point that she said, look, you need to start staying home more. Whether you believe it's right or not, you're gonna you're so open to it that you're like, man, even though I won't, don't want to stay home, I don't want to lose this situation. Or maybe she's right because she got got a hold of you and you trust her more than you're supposed to trust the Holy Spirit. Okay? So um, I just want to go over that, man. Hopefully that was edifying to you. I can. Uh, with that being said, I want to say, call her Lord to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Machak, Wadash. I want to get double honest to our apostles, who our elders who rule well. I also want to say blessed salutations to you, brothers out there, out there teaching and enduring truth sincerity. Hey, shalom.